Hi, and thank you for allowing us to send you this video. My name is Alex, and I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how by improving your website, you can get more exposure, outgrind your competition, and of course, get more customers. So first things first, I have your website put out here. And one of the things that I have to strongly recommend is to add more relevant content. And when I say content, I'm not just talking about the images, the icons. It's more about the text that you have in your especially your homepage. Why is this so important? Because Google, when they start analyzing your website, they read through all this. And if you would be including keywords, for example, HPAC, uh, Richfield, Connecticut, uh, things like that, or services that you want to provide in different areas, you have to surround those keywords with relevant content. And this is one of the things that most people don't understand, but um, it can be a powerful tool for your website so you can be found on Google. Um, besides that, I've seen, uh, I've seen that, I'm seeing that you, know, you have this security issue and just it's a simple fix, just install the security certificate in your domain, whoever's managing, and you should be able to get this uh, uh, fixed. Now let's move on and let's see the, the back end of your website. And I use this tool called a ref so I can see data that is being uh, pulled out from your website. So you're being found for 53 keywords and you have around 1,200 backlinks. Now, what are backlinks? Backlinks are other sites that I mentioned in your website and this will give you power so you can be found on Google. Think about this like a popularity contest. The more people you get to talk about you in a positive way, the more relevant you're gonna become, the more relevant you're gonna stay. Same concept applies to here, with the difference that not all links are created equal, so you can have dozens, hundreds of thousands of links, but if they're not powerful, if they're not relevant, and most importantly, if they're not telling you the keywords that you want to be found for, uh, your rate is not going to go up. And even if it does, but if they're not telling you the keywords, the proper keywords, you're not going to see the results that you're looking for. So going back to the keywords, because this goes hand in hand, content and backlinks, they go hand in hand, so you can actually be found for specific services. Now let's take a look and see what keywords are being picked from your website. So um, this is the branding name, so you're ranking over there. Uh, this one over here, uh, same thing is uh, branding. Uh, Tony search someone, you're ranking number one, you're getting eight visits straight to your website. Uh, but let's try to find something, um, something more relevant. For example, this one, uh, Bethel, uh, Connecticut, right? Tony search someone, but your ranking number one is not getting. So that means that this volume search is not that high. So you're not getting, um, not even a visit straight to uh, your website. You're ranking this to the about us page. My recommendation would be to rank as much as you can first to the um, to the domain, like the .com, and then seeing those results, you can actually start ranking other pages from your website. Uh, let's see uh, something else with a little bit of right here. This one, it's fact, uh, which feel very good 30 searches a month, and you're almost on the, on the, on the sixth page. So, and you keep losing um, a spot, so you're not getting anything. Let's take a look and see why would that be a keyword that you might be interested in, right? So, if we go to Google and type that. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is this is sponsored by Google, you pay to be there. Then you have the map section, and this is something you you, you might be able to, to be found at, because if you would have an optimized profile, um, interacting with reviews, that kind of stuff, uh, you can definitely start ranking for this if you would be close to this specific area. Um, moving on, well, we have the organic results. And number one, we have this Mon Montana uh, refuel.com, number one. And let's take a look and see why these guys are ranking number one and what would you need to, um, what would you need to do to start competing with this, right, with this guy. But for, before that, I just want to mention that 70% of the people that do a Google search, they only go for the top three here and then the top three over here. That means that they don't scroll down all the way to the end of the page, not even go to the second or third page, so you might be missing a lot of opportunities. So let's take a look and see, we have their website pull out, and you can see that they're targeting this specific page, right? 
So then we are targeting the, the home page. So this is something um, that most uh, most people do, so it can be a little bit easier to rank. So let's take a look and see. You can see here that they have a lot of content. See, this is a keyword over here. It's back installation, uh, pump repair, and it's, it looks like they know what they're doing because they're tagging that. So if you wanna if you wanna compete with these guys, especially for that specific keyword, my recommendation is that whatever they have here on text as content, you should double it or triple with those specific with that keyword in specific. So you can start competing with this. I mean, if you can add more power with back, backlinks, it would be even better. But let's take a look and see the back end of that specific page. They're being found for 22 keywords. And you can see that they only have one backlink that is supporting that specific page. And let's take a look. What, well, of course. So 30 search a month, uh, because they're ranking number one, we're getting seven visits straight to, the, to that specific page. If we want to see how overall, these guys are doing, we just go delete this and let's give it a second. I'm sorry. Right here, you can see overall they're being found for over 200 keywords and they have around 600 backlinks. And the rating is it's still pretty low, but consistent for them to be ranking number one on that specific keyword, right? So let's take a look and see overall the keywords that they're targeting. It might be something that you might be interested in knowing how that plays out. So we can see here, right? Um, it's fuel, uh, it's factory fuel. Um, this is one that we already saw already, so no worries about that. Uh, let's see if they have something else right here. Let's see, H5 companies in Connecticut. 150 searches a month and the ranking number 30. So then I see, but from this specific, you can get a piece of that pie, right? If you will be ranking on that for that specific uh, keyword, um, I don't see anything more relevant. So that means that you could easily start uh, competing with these guys if, if you would be want to find, if you want to be found for that specific keyword, and not just limited, just one. I mean, we can do a whole research on um, volume searches of a specific areas and see which one will be valuable for you, but. Um, I don't want to take too, too much of the time. So to wrap this up really, really quick, for you to start uh, increasing your um, your showcase in, in in Google, you need to have relevant content. You need to have it needs to be original. It needs to include the keywords that you want to be found for, not just on the home page, but all the pages that you have here. Services you should be able to do the same thing. And if you're gonna be powering that up with uh, with backlinks, you gotta make sure that those things are good quality. Otherwise, the investment is not gonna bring the results that you might be expecting. Uh, once again, my name is Alex. I hope you find this information uh, useful. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.